Hi guys, seasonal greetings to you all. My name is Easy, and I'm going to be teaching you how to use Wonderpost. I work for a company called IT Kame and we are the ones responsible for Wonderpost. Um, this is the seed video in this series and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to configure currency. Now, to be able to configure currency, you're going to have to log in either as an administrator or a manager. And the manager is the person with the least access permissions required to do that. So I'm going to log in as a manager. Okay, earlier on I configured one that also used as a restaurant so you can see the layout there. Okay, I'm just going to pick any table, let's say table 5. And we open, let's pretend to order something. We click on this. You see here, the currency here is in dollars. And I'm from Cameroon and it's in the Semak region. And we use the franc here for instance and the standard is XAF and it appears at the end here. So I'm going to change that do that I'll go over to configuration then I'll come over to local you see this is what we're seeing there currently and for the Frank CFA there are no decimal points so I'm going to take those off and then the sign appears at the end as XAF and then I'm just going to take this out okay I'm going to Launch Wonder Post to ensure that it has taken effect. So, okay, it's loading up. Okay, now if I if I just pick any other table, I try to make an order. Okay, it's still showing dollars, so that didn't take effect. I'm going to change that again. yeah okay that's probably because I didn't save it so I'm going to take this out I'm going to read XAF here and I don't think I'll be needing that okay I'm going to save that yes Launch Wonder Post. Okay, it's time to load up. Um, okay, I'm just going to pick any table, and now you see the currency has been changed. Okay, now if I try to validate this, you notice the nodes and the coins are still different. So. I've got some pictures on my hard drive with the various notes from the same region so I'm going to change those now to do that we'll go over to maintenance here yeah, and it's under resources if you look you see these are the coins that are currently used on the system and then the notes are down here now in the same region we have uh, five different types of bank notes and seven different types of coins so going to add a new one here and I'm going to make the names unique so I'll append XAF to it I'll start from the most valuable which is the 10,000 francs yes and for the image I'll navigate over to my downloads folder that's where I have the picture okay inside here money now these are just samples here's my finite selection so and here's the note I'll open it up now that's 10,000 francs I'm going to save that the next of value was 5,000 francs so I'm going to name that 5,000 I'll go over there and get the picture that's it save Next is 2,000 francs, it's a note, 2,000, go over there and get the picture, that's it, I'll save it, next is 1,000 francs, yeah, navigate and get the picture, 
to obtain that legs is 500 pounds. navigate over and get the picture okay I'll save that now I'm just going to show you something if I go over to that downloads folder money you notice here I've got a coin a set of coins now 500 francs we have the note we have the coin you see here we have another type of coin you see down here I'm going to open that up you see now all those are using the same application that I'm just going to take the note just to avoid ambiguity in the system so I'm just going to leave it as the note now we'll go back to the coins create a new resource here I'll call it coin XAS now uh, the most valuable coin is a hundred francs so I'll just put that 100 I'll navigate over to the downloads folder and get a hundred francs coin okay open that that's it next of value is 50 francs okay So value is 25 francs and I'll get and get the picture uh, next of value is 10 francs some point in time uh, these notes were changed if I go back to that folder you notice I have different types of coins here now this is the old 5,000 francs and this is the new one and mostly I'm using the new notes and the new coins but here I couldn't get a 10 francs coin the new one so I just use the old one uh, in time I'm going to change this moment I said I lay my hands on it so I'm just going to save this and then the next of value is five francs okay I'll get the picture of that well I have the right coins for all except this ten francs so now that's five francs I'll save that okay two more to go we've got two francs one the least valuable and the most rare one franc I'm going to get a picture for that okay I'm going to save that now if you move over to the front and you notice you're not going to see this attached yet if I try to rotate this you see it's still showing the old coins now the reason for this is because Yes, we've created the new notes and coins, but then we have not instructed the system to use those instead of the old ones. And now to do that, I'm going to move over to payment cash. You notice it's still using the old notes and coins, so I'm going to change that. Uh, our most valuable was note XAF 10,000. That's it. It's this note right here and then the value the value is 10,000 okay I'm going to remove that decimal point in the semac zone we don't use decimal points so the next of value was 5,000 and we call it note XAF 5,000 and then the value is 5,000 no decimal points next of value was 2,000 francs okay the value is 2,000 I'm going to pick 
without the decimal point. Next of value was a thousand francs. One thousand. Yes, the value is one thousand. Okay. Um. Now we have an extra here. We need another note. So I'm just going to copy this line basically down here and it's 500 and the value is 500 so now for the coins the most valuable was coin XAF 100 and the value is 100 next of value was 50 francs yeah and the value Next is twenty five, and the value is twenty five. I'm going to take out this zero over here. Okay, the next was ten francs. Decimal points, no decimal points. Next of value was two francs. That was coin XAF dot two, and the value is two. Now I'm just going to save this and restart, and then you see the difference. So I'm going to leave this, these old ones here. I know I'm still left with the one franc to go, and then this line to take off. So I'm just going to save that. I will restart the system just so you see the difference. Okay, it's loading up. Now, if I open that, just pick any table. Okay, if I try to validate that, you notice all the SIMA coins are here except this one here and this one. These are not coins from the SIMA zone remember the last two coins so I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to change this to one franc PSA so I'll get back to maintenance resources payment cash and I'm going to take off this line and then I'm going to change this and instruct it to use the one franc coin I added and that's it save restart the system remember if you don't restart the system it's not going to take effect okay let it load up now if i log in pick a table any table now if i try to validate that you see now it has all the smart coins ten thousand francs uh five thousand francs two thousand one thousand five hundred a hundred 15, 25, 10 francs. This is the old one. I'm, I'm going to get a new coin and replace that with it. This is just for a table. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was resourceful enough for you. Thanks again.